So DC police are looking for a person they say carjacked and kidnapped Uber driver at gunpoint. Uh, we'll find out. I hope that guy's okay. Secondly, this dude was caught uh, on a camera, but honestly, you can't tell very much here except for maybe the clothing. The To me, the cap here or the hat would be the most telling. So if someone knows who dresses up like that or you know, maybe turn him in. Maybe there's a reward. But uh, DC police, uh, DC police is looking to identify a person they say held an Uber driver at gunpoint Friday morning, then stole their car. The incident took place in the 3,500 block of Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue Southeast. Police say that at approximately 3:03 a.m. See, that's probably the worst hours to be out driving there. This is when this crap happens, right? The Uber driver picked up the suspect and that during the ride, the passenger produced a handgun and demanded the victim to drive to an ATM in the 4400 block of Oxen Hill Road. So here we go. Same, same story, right? Same story. Same freaking story. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horse shit. I'll tell you what's horse crap is that. And Dara. And Logan. Listen up for a second, right? This, this guy. This guy here. I create an account on your platform. Right? And uh, somehow... You made a lot of big promises that you would start tightening up and uh, do more stringent checks on these individuals and force them to give up specific information. And by the way, they made all these big announcements. And then I, got to, I, got, I literally got to find this article. They said, oh, we're only doing that in certain cities. Really? You're doing that like in a handful of cities? No, across the board, these individuals who pay with these little prepaid cards or, or gift cards um, shouldn't be on the platform, period. And another driver has to face this type of trauma, right? The driver fled the scene on foot after arriving at the ATM and the individual then fled the scene in the vehicle. The vehicle has been recovered. What this driver experienced is terrifying uh, we've been in touch with him and stand ready to assist law enforcement with the investigation. An Uber spokesman. Oh, that's like your go-to cut and paste line. Oh, it must have been terrifying. Must have been. And then we're going to cooperate with law enforcement. Right. Many times you say you do, but you don't. You don't cooperate. Right. And why Uber? Mr. Uber spokesman, whoever you are hiding behind you, like no name mentioned because you're a spokesman. Um why are you not working on these safety issues? Why do I have to call you out for the 24,000th time, right? Uber tells 7 News that as soon as the driver reported the incident, they removed the account holder's access. Why didn't you remove the account holder's access when he started putting in all that BS information? And you could have, you know... you. you Anybody with that type of history ain't going to put his photo and going to come up with a fictitious name. Red flag, right? Right there and then, you guys could have stopped this nonsense. Um, they did not say if the suspect in the carjacking was the account holder or someone who got access to the account. Doesn't matter. Why is he on the platform? The passenger was captured by a surveillance camera and can be seen in the photo below. Anyone who can identify this individual who has knowledge of this incident should take no action, um, should, should take no action but call police 202-727-9099, 207-727-9099. So what, what's alarming here, um, Uber did not say if the suspect in the carjacking was the account holder. Uber knows it, right? Uber should have a picture of this individual. 
or maybe they don't because they just simply don't care, right? I think I've made my point here for the 24th thousandth time. Now, wake up, Uber, wake up, Lyft, wake up, spokesman. You know, we don't want this same BS cut and paste line. Oh, we're working with the police after you created the mess, right? So l let them know what you think, man, really. Because this is, this is unacceptable, man. This is unacceptable. Another one. And another one. When am, when am I going to report on the next one? Tonight? Tomorrow morning? Tomorrow afternoon? You know, tomorrow evening? Well, like, when am I going to break the next similar story? Because you guys were, you know, asleep or didn't want to communicate with the engineering team or didn't want to wire some money to the person that oversees the engineering team so you can spend some money on these safety checks. You made us that promise. You made us a big promise that you would check these individuals. And then a week ago, you come out, which is a huge, gigantic slap in the pay in the face for every driver worldwide. Oh, in selected cities. So hang on. Do you look at your statistics, right? Oh, we have the most carjackings and murders over here. Maybe we'll implement it here right? No, these type of things can happen anywhere and they happen everywhere at any given time. So your, your system that you apparently promised us should be in place universally worldwide, every city, every neighborhood, every zip code, right? Your thoughts, please. And, and, and send these guys, send Uber and lift a message how you feel about this. Have a good day. Be safe.